please welcome Rowan Atkinson. Well, thanks for doing that bit with the mini before. That was great fun. Mon plaisir. Mon plaisir. Yes. <laughs> no, you know. My pleasure. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I know you're, you're a bit of a, a, a car fanatic. Yes, uh, yes. I have a car buying disease almost as bad as yours, Jim. Yes, it's a terrible disease. But not quite as bad as yours. <laughs> um, yes, I like cars. I like quick cars in particular. I, I like cars that go more quickly than other cars. That would be that's the kind of car. Quick car. Like. That'd be the definition yeah, itself. That'll be a quick car. Do you then do I, car commercials and things? Um, like well, I don't do car. I, I do. I do. I do credit card commercials. Actually, more, more than one ending. In fact, I did one. In fact, yes. In relation to cars, I did a credit card commercial in New York a few years ago, and I, um, it was a, it was a story in which I had to play a, a bungling British secret agent. And there's this beautiful woman gets out of a limo in the middle of New York, and he sees her. And this shot, this scene, was when I had to look at her as if I had just fallen in love with her. Right. And the director said, just imagine that you've just seen your wife for the first time. And my wife happened to be on set at the time. And she said, no, 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 that won't work. <laughs> um, tell him to look at her as if she's his new Aston Martin. Oh, uh, and then it'll work. Oh, that'll work. And she was right. <laughs> it, 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 it inspired me no end. <laughs> I looked at her like no woman has ever been looked at. Really? <laughs> Can you give us that look? I'm curious. Yeah. Can I do? <laughs> look at the women melting. Look at that. It's just oh, oh. Very good. Now, there was a story in our tabloid papers here, and I don't know if it's true. I mean, you got some huge speeding ticket in England. Is this true? Yeah, uh, a huge speeding ticket. You mean... You no, know, no, not physically large, just a physically very high number. Um, yeah, it was a very... Yeah, I, I was doing 114 miles an hour in a... Uh, School zone? In, in an Aston Martin. Oh. No, it was, it, was on a, it, was, <laughs> it was on a highway, but it was still quite quick, and I... Um, it was one of those things, I mean, as you know, you know if you work in, in television or movies, you sometimes wonder whether when you encounter a speed cop, whether he's going to recognize you, and whether that is going to ease he's the, the way, bit, ease yeah. the pain yeah. a bit, whether he might conveniently just forget Warning. that there was any speed involved in right. your progress, and whether he'll pass over you, because he's a fan <laughs> and, a, and an admirer. And I, so I was hoping this might be the case, but he was a very stern and British uh, policeman, and he made out the ticket, and he, he looked at me, and I thought, he's, he's never seen me before in my life, he's never seen my face. Uh, I'm in for it here, and he made out the ticket, and he said, if you could just sign the ticket, please. And if you could just sign that for my daughter. <laughs> it was this, so he knew, you know, he was, uh, he, he was going to take full advantage right, of the situation, right, right. whereas I was hoping to take advantage right, of the situation. Nothing, nothing. And it was absolutely nothing. Oh, Very sad. Well, explain the Mr. Bean character, perhaps, to those three or four Americans. Uh, uh, well, he's, a, he's, he's, he's an odd bloke as we'd say. Yeah. Um, he's a child, really. He's a, he's, a, he's a child who's grown up physically, but not mentally. Yeah. So he's stuck a sort of age around nine or ten um, mentally. If I ever want to know how Mr. Bean is going to behave in any given situation, I merely think about how a ten-year-old boy would behave. Right, right, right. And basically, he would ignore the people and concentrate on the toys, you know, on the switches, on the, on the lamps, on the taps, on, the, on all that sort of thing. And Bean is very, very mechanical, as you saw there. He's always got a very mechanical solution to any problem. Um, but he's got this schizophrenic, this, just this very childish nature, which I find extremely funny. I mean, we British, we like childish humor. Yeah, and, and well, in fact, you like child. I mean, you like well, the, the toilet great, humor. You the, know, well, the great like thing that. about yours is, it's, you do so much of it silent, it plays in any country. I mean, yes, people absolutely. get it the way uh, you know, Jerry Lewis or, or Roberto Benigni or any of those guys, you know, it, it all plays very well. Now, do you get ideas from real life and you just sort of go to scope things? And yeah, then... I mean, I think, in fact, there was, a, there was a story that I heard last weekend, which I didn't quite believe, but it, it was a true story, and a friend of mine told it, and talk about toilet humor, which we like a great deal, and which you like no, sometimes. Nothing like um, a and it was, uh, and there's a bit of it in the Bean movie, actually, <laughs> but not too much. Uh, but anyway, it was this story of a friend of mine uh, who went to a party, a housewarming party. This house had just been built, and he'd been invited to it, and he was late, he'd stayed late at work, and he was rushing to this party. He arrived at the party and suddenly realized this is the ultimate toilet joke. But, but don't retune, please. Um, that, he, that, he, that he arrived at this party, and he said he was desperate to go to the toilet, and in quite a big way, he yeah. needed to go to the toilet. <laughs> so he went, and he came, and he burst in the, in the front door of the house, and, and there was a door by the front door, and he opened that door, and sure enough, it was a toilet, and there was a toilet, 
And he closed the door and he locked it and he sat down and he relieved himself in the way that, you know, that he needed to relieve right. you, to relieve people. <laughs> uh, and he felt much better for it. And then he realized that the house had not actually been quite completed. <laughs> and that the toilet was not actually connected. Oh. There was no water going in and there was no drainage coming out. And he'd left this significant calling card right. you know, <laughs> of his own. <laughs> and he sat there, and then he realized that it wasn't, in fact, it wasn't, it was a little office. It was a little study that they just dropped the toilet. Oh. It wasn't supposed to be a toilet at all. And because, and because it wasn't supposed to be a toilet, there was no toilet paper. Uh, and he was sort of thinking, what the hell am I going to do? And he rummaged around it in, in his briefcase, and he found some writing paper lying at the bottom of his briefcase, which is about the right size, you know. Right. Sort of so he used the, you know, the writing paper, as you would wish to use toilet paper and then he suddenly realized that it was his, it was his headed note paper that he used it had his name <laughs> richard steiner written across the top and he left he left the the paper on top of what he left in the toilet and it was this fantastic way that the, the, it was the, it was the least anonymous way you could have committed this heinous social crime uh, and he picked up his briefcase and he ran out of the house uh, and he didn't need to send a thank you letter because, you know, he, right, he left it. Uh, in yeah, effect, he left aside. But, uh, but I thought, Jimmy, if, if this doesn't end up in a movie or a no, TV show, great. it that's would be very brother. sad. Now, we have, we, have a, uh, we have a clip of the film. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. Let's see. yes. Does he need to set up here? What's, what, what's um, happening in this scene? Uh, oh, that's, that's a great scene. Yeah, it's, he, uh, Mr. Bean has been arrested for doing terrible things. To in a, Los Angeles. To a fairground ride. Yeah. He's in Los Angeles. He's, he's been arrested. And, uh, and this is what happens at the police station. Take a look. Thank you very much. Rowan Atkinson, be right back with Aaron Neville right after that.